Welcome to Bassman Strikes Kayak Fishing. Sit back and watch another episode as I explore and fish lakes and rivers in Wisconsin and the Upper Peninsula of Michigan using various artificial baits and techniques. Fisheye has a super narrow field of view, which also is no good for fishing. I could have sworn the Tacticam site said it was 170 degrees, but it appears to be 90. The other issue with the fisheye is the bit rate. At 1080p, it's super low. The Osmo Action file sizes at 1080p are two to three times the size, and the image quality on the Osmo is far superior. There's no reason to have a bit rate this low. Maybe 10 years ago when SD cards were, you know, tiny, but now we can get 128 gig SD cards for like $20. There's no reason for a bit rate that low. It serves no purpose other than to have small file sizes, but at the expense of image quality. All right, this is a test of both cameras at 1080p 30 frames per second. And the Tacticam has the EV set to negative two because it was too light. Everything was too bright and oversaturated. So let's do the same test, walk around the house. Testing, one, two, three. First off, I have to say I really wanted to like the fisheye. At first glance, it seems great. Loop recording at 1080p with a nice remote that can sync multiple cameras. That would be awesome. But when you actually get the camera in hand, it immediately loses luster. In this comparison, I used my Osmo Action set to 1080p 30 frames per second. The audio on my Osmo is stellar because I use an external mic and a dead cat. The fisheye has zero support for an external mic. So to get rid of wind noise, I strapped on the same lavalier dead cat I use in the Osmo Action, but split open so it properly covers the mic hole, and that made a huge difference for the fisheye used outdoors. But come on, Tacticam. You need to add a 3.5 millimeter jack, or at least an adapter. Without that, the fisheye is pretty much useless for fishing. Exposed. Color profile needs to be adjusted. So we'll see how it looks at a negative two exposure value. So let's see how the Without the dead cat on the fisheye, the audio the was unusable when used outdoors in any on wind. A, a Even with the dead cat, so significant right post-recording tweaking would be needed to make the bracket. voices loud enough. Alright, that's it. Alright, this is a test of both cameras at 1080p 30 frames per second. And the Tacticam has the EV set to negative two because it was too light. Everything was too bright and oversaturated. So let's do the same test, walk around the house. Testing, one, two, three, testing, one, two, three. This is a test. Same test as before, just a walk around the house. Both cameras have a dead cat. Let's take a look at the garden gnome. There he is. The guy's been sitting there for years. It's not as windy as before. It was super windy before. Now it's not too bad. The Tacticam has a real issue with its uh, being overexposed. Color profile needs to be adjusted. As of right now, I can't recommend the fisheye for use with fishing. So what can Tacticam do to fix it? Well, number one, increase the bit rate of the 1080p to match GoPro and Osmo Action. Number two, somehow enable an external microphone, either with a Y cable 
for the USB-C connection or some sort of adapter. Three, come out with a pro version that has a built-in 3.5 millimeter jack and a front-facing status LED. Right now you can't tell if it's recording if it's mounted behind you. Fix the color profile so it's not so washed out. Clouds look really bad on a cloudy day out of the box. Super bright and washed out. I was able to fix this by changing the EV to negative two. So if Tacticam can fix those issues, it might be okay. That's it. I'm gonna turn them off, both at the same time. Thanks for watching Bassman Strikes Kayak Fishing. If you like this video, please click the subscribe and like buttons. If you would like to be notified of new content, click the bell button. If you have any questions about lures, equipment, etc., please leave a comment. Also, be sure to check out our Facebook page and join our group Black Bass Central. Links will be in the description. We'll see you next time.